Chapter 128 Adam's joy over his children, Jura, Busan, and Ohorion. And so the four hurried to the known place. When Adam caught sight of Enoch approaching with the three old sons, his face brightened, and he began to praise me for having allowed his eyes to behold once more his eldest children after Cain and Abel, namely, Jura, Busan, and Ohorion. And while Adam was gratefully sighing in his heart, the four had arrived. Enoch bowed to Adam, but the other three fell upon their faces before Adam, as they had always done. However, Adam summoned Seth and said, Seth, my son, behold, your eldest brothers and now my eldest children. Help them rise from the ground, and lead them here to my heart, and tell them also, The old father Adam is no longer a commander, but now he is a father whose arms would be even capable of lovingly drawing Cain to his heart, let alone his old children and companions during bad times. Tell them also that not only has the lost paradise been regained, but endlessly more and greater things, unspeakably sublime and glorious. And now go and do as asked. Amen. And Seth went immediately to his brothers, raised them lovingly, and gave them Adam's message. Whereupon the three began to weep for joy. And Jura said to Seth, O oh, my beloved brother, how unspeakably happy I am, and actually all three of us, that we are allowed to see you and our greatly beloved father once more. Look, dear brother, how old and weak we have become since the long time of our deserved banishment. O oh, you great Jehovah, thank you, and our everlasting gratitude be to you alone. For it is no doubt you who have softened our beloved Father's heart, and that we are once more accepted here into his gracious presence. Therefore, eternal gratitude and praise to you, O Jehovah. And we thank also you, dear brother. So lead us to the old Father. And Seth led them to Adam, who blessed them and pressed them to his heart and then said, deeply moved, O oh, my children, how happy your father Adam now is! O oh, Asmahel, who could praise you enough, for your goodness is boundless and your love everlasting? When Adam had somewhat regained his composure, Asmahel stepped up to him and said, Adam, do you now see what is worth more, the law or love? Adam was so moved that he could only say, O oh, you whose name my tongue dares not utter, you are more, infinitely more than all eternities can comprehend. To you alone be gratitude, praise, glory, and all my forever adoring love for this. Amen.